Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, this is a palette that Too Faced recently, not recently, but like maybe two or three months ago they came out with. Um, this was a limited edition palette, I think maybe, maybe about a year or two ago and they decided to bring it back due to high demand. I decided to do a review on this palette just because I've seen and heard a lot of mixed reviews and mixed feelings about the palette and I just wanted to give my personal opinion about it. So if you would like to see what my thoughts are on this palette then of course just keep on watching. So this is what the palette looks like. It's just a really nice like ombre, like light pink to hot pink to an orange. It consists of 18 eyeshadows and this is what it looks like. So here are the shadows. It comes with, like I said, 18 shades. It's got a mix of shimmers, um, a few metallics, and quite a few mattes. It has quite a few pops of colors and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a bunch of peachy shades thrown together with just a few pops of colors. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been playing with it quite a bit, like especially like the neutrals in here. I finally have an opinion on it because I've had it for about two weeks, I think. And I feel like um, I've used it enough to give my personal thoughts on it. So I'm going to go very quickly throughout the shades and swatch them for you and then you will hear my opinion on them. So here is what the first row looks like. Um, this is the very last one so I'll start with that. This is called Charmed I'm Sure. And then here's the very first one in that row. This one is called White Peach, Luscious, Just Peachy, Bless Her Heart, and tempting and after tempting is this one but i didn't have any really more room to swatch on to swatch it on so i had to swatch it here on the very bottom but as you guys can see they are all very very pigmented i don't really see any problem with them when i swatch them so um yeah they are very nice though so all of the shades were the very first row and like i said so far they are all to me, they all look and feel very consistent. They're very buttery. They're very pigmented. They swatched very nicely. And um, yeah, so let's go on to the second row. Um, I don't know if that's focusing in or not, but it's this row right here, the very middle row. So like I did with the other row, I'm going to swatch them first go through the colors and I will let you know how they swatched on my hand. So here are the swatches for the second row. Um, they all swatched just like the very first one. Um, they're all very pigmented and I didn't really have any trouble swatching them. The only thing that I did notice was that with some of the metallic shades is that they have a little bit of fallout, which I personally don't mind. Whenever I do my makeup, I always do my eyes before I move on to the face. So if I get any um, eyeshadow fallout onto my face, I just grab a little makeup wipe or I go in with my face primer and it takes it right off. So, so far that is honestly the only thing I have noticed, but they all blended out very nicely and yeah, they the formula is still very consistent and yeah, let me go through these shades very quickly. This is the shade Nectar, Cobbler, Candied Peach, Bellini, Peach Pit, and Delectable. These three shades are some of my favorites from the palette, so yeah. So far, same consistency as the very first row. So this is the very last row that I'm going to swatch for you guys. So these are these swatches. There is something that I do want to say about this last row. I will hold on until I get to the actual color. So let me tell you the name of the colors. This is Peaches and Cream, Georgia, um, Caramelize, Caramelize, I don't really know how to say that, um, Puree, 
Summer Yum and Talk Derby to me. As far as the matte shades go and this metallic shade right here, um, they all swatched very, very nice. One thing that I do want to say, this black shade right here, it's called Tempting and then Talk Derby to me, which is the very last shade that I swatched right here. Um, you can definitely feel like the glittery, like gritty texture in it. So I didn't really like that. I haven't really tried this shade out yet, but I will definitely keep you guys updated if I notice anything different about it. Now that I have gotten through the whole entire palette and swatched every single shade in here and kind of like talked about the shades kind of individually, let me get to my final thoughts on it and um, yeah. I love it. I really, really do like it. I'm wearing one of the shades on my eyes right now. Um, it's this one right here. It's called Puree. Um, I just used it as um, a transition shade right here in the crease. The matte shades in here are honestly my favorite. They have got to be my favorite. I find that they apply just very nicely. They're extremely buttery and very creamy. And whenever I um, applied them, I did not have one single problem with them. Hopefully this video helped you out if you've been having your eye on it. I personally love it. I'm an all neutral kind of girl. I love my shimmers. I love my metallic shades. I love my glitter. Um, so... Yeah, I got a little bit of everything. I love having pops of color on my eyes. So, honestly, this palette is perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will see you in my next one. Bye.